So today we're using powers of 10 to represent very large numbers and also very small numbers. What's useful about powers of 10 is they're very easy to use because multiplying by 10 simply moves the decimal point over. All right, so I've got four simple examples here for you and then four harder examples later on. So we've got 80,000 and we want to represent this as a single digit times a power of 10. Now, clearly we can tell there's an eight here followed by a whole bunch of zeros. So we could think of this as eight times a whole bunch of tens. Now, how many tens? It's a matter of how far would we have to move the decimal over? If this was eight, the decimal would be right there. But of course, this isn't eight, it's 80,000. So we would need to move the decimal over one, two, three, four times. So in other words, we're multiplying eight times 10 four times, or eight times 10 to the fourth power. So if we did eight times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, we would get 80,000. And that's what this is, eight times 10 to the fourth power. Okay, we'll do another one here. We've got 600 million. So clearly this is six times a whole bunch of tens to get all these zeros behind it. But how many tens would it be? Well, let's find out. If we start with six, the decimal point would be here. But we have 600 million, so we want the decimal way at the end. So how far would we have to move it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. That means we'd have to multiply it by eight tens. So this would be six times 10 to the eighth power. Okay, so really it's that simple. And that's the power of multiplying by a power of 10 is that we're simply moving the decimal point over so we could just count how many places we have to move it over and that's the power of 10, all right? This also works with really small numbers, but kind of in the opposite way. I'll show you what I mean. This is 0 0.003. So this is three divided by a whole bunch of tens, okay? So we could go three divided by 10 to some power but we want it to be a single digit times a power of 10. So how do you show that we're dividing by 10 in this format? Well, it turns out dividing by 10 is the same thing as multiplying by 10 to a negative power. I'll show you what I mean here. So if this was really three, the decimal point would be here, right? So this would be like 3.0, all right? But we don't have three, we have 0 .003. So how far did I have to move the decimal backwards? I had to move it back one, two, three spots. All right, and since I moved it back three places, that means I'm dividing by 10 and dividing by 10 again and dividing by 10 again, so three times. So since I'm dividing by 10 three times, I'm gonna raise 10 to the negative three power. All right. In other words, we're taking three and dividing, by, dividing it by 10 and 10 and 10 again. And that's what moves that decimal place, that decimal point over three places, okay? We'll do one more, Point zero 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 five. Okay, this one looks complicated. Now we know it's gonna be five times 10 to some power, but how far did we have to move that decimal point over? The decimal, if it was five, the decimal point would be there, but it's not, it's way over here. So how far did we move? One, two, three, four, five, six places backwards. So we had to divide by six tens to get there. So in other words, we're doing five times 10 to the negative six power, okay? So power of tens is all about how far do you have to move the decimal? And if you're moving the decimal to make the number bigger, notice it has a positive power of 10. If we're moving the decimal to make, it, make the number smaller, in other words, we're dividing it by 10, we're using a negative exponent, okay? Now, let's do some slightly harder ones here. This time, the numbers are a little bit more specific. Notice they don't have just a whole bunch of zeros anymore, okay? But we're gonna have to do something first. It says, estimate by rounding to the greatest place value, and then write as a single digit times a power of 10. So notice, we have these numbers, we're gonna round them first to their greatest place value. And what that means is, take a look at this first one, 22,051,327. We're gonna round it to the greatest place value, which is digit furthest to the left, because this is the 10 million spot, 
right? The ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. This is a 10 million spot. That's the greatest place of value, okay? So we're gonna round this number first to that place. So when we round it to this place, we always look at the digit next to it, which is a two. And if it's a big digit, a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we would round it up. In this case, it's a small digit, so we're gonna keep it a two. So everything else, since we're estimating, just becomes zeros. So 22,051,327 rounds to about 20 million. See how that works? So we're just rounding it to that digit. But now that we've done that, now we can do the second step of writing it as a single digit times the power of 10. So now it's just like what we were doing before. So this is gonna be two times 10 to some power. Now, what power of 10 is it? Well, if this number was two, the decimal point would be there, but it's not. It's 20 million. So we've got to move it over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. So that means we'd have to multiply two times 10 seven times. So it'd be two times 10 to the seventh power. Okay, let's do another one here. 762,338. Again, we're gonna start by rounding it to the greatest place value, which is the digit furthest to the left. In this case, the 100,000 spots. So we got a seven. Um, look at the digit before it. We got a six, that's a big number. So that means we're gonna round that seven up. So that seven is going to become an eight, and then we can zero out everything else. So 762,338 rounds to about 800,000, okay? But now we can write it as a single digit times the power of 10. So this is going to be eight times 10 to some power, because we're going to multiply it by a whole bunch of tens. How many tens are we going to multiply it by? Well, here's where the decimal would be if it was an eight, like we're starting with but this number is not an eight, it's 800,000. So we need the decimal way over at the end. So we need to move it one, two, three, four, five places over. So that means we're gonna multiply it by five tens, or in other words, eight times 10 to the fifth power, okay? We got a couple more here, and these are a little bit harder because now we've got decimals. 0 0.04197, so we're gonna round this to the greatest place value. Now on decimals, we always go to the digit to the farthest left, but we go the furthest left that's not zero. So for example, we would look at this first digit way on the left, but it's a zero. So there's no value in that place value. Go to the next one, it's also a zero. So we're not picking that one either. So we are actually picking this one. Okay, that four is in the hundredth spot, and it's the greatest place value of all the digits shown. All right, so we're gonna round it to that place. And notice the digit after it is a one. So that means we are not gonna round this up. We're gonna keep the same. So this is gonna be 0 0.04. And everything after that's gonna be zeros. And on decimals, we don't need to put all those other digits if everything after that's zero. So we can just round it to 0 0.04. All right, now let's do the second part. Write it as a single digit times a power of 10. So this is gonna be four times 10 to some power. In this case, it's a small number, so we're dividing by 10. All right, so it's gonna be a negative power. Now, if this was a four, like we have it here, the decimal point would be there, but it's not, it's 0 0.04, so we've gotta move it backwards one, two places. So that means we're dividing by two tens, or multiplying it by 10 to the negative second power, okay? Again, remember that negative power means we're moving the decimal the other way because we're dividing by 10. We're making it smaller. All right, last one. Point zero 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 five six one. Okay, so let's round it to the greatest place value. Again, we look at the furthest left digit and it's a decimal, so we don't include those zeros because those are just placeholders. They aren't values there. But notice, the first non-zero digit on the left is that five. So we're gonna round it to that decimal place, okay? So look at the digit next to it. It's a big number, so that means we're rounding that five up. So we're gonna round it up to a six. So this is gonna become 0 0.00006. And then all the digits after that are zeros because we're rounding them. Okay, so now we just gotta take this and make it a single digit times the power of 10. Let's do it. Six times 10 to some power. And again, 
This is a small number, so technically we're dividing it by 10. How many times are we dividing it? Well, if this was a six, the decimal point would be there, but it's not, this decimal is actually way over here. So we're gonna actually have to move this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. So we're moving it backwards seven places. So we're doing 10 to the negative seventh power. In other words, we're taking six and dividing it by 10 seven times to make it this small, okay? So that's what we're doing with single digits times the power of 10. If you think of it as positive powers of 10, make the number bigger, move the decimal over to make it bigger, that's one way to do it. And if you think of negative exponents as dividing it by 10 and making the decimal point move left and make the number smaller, okay? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.